Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover an overview of your user acquisition data and your traffic acquisition data. The difference is the user acquisition, as it mentions in the name, shows you data at the user level. The user acquisition data will focus on the first time your user accessed or arrived on your web property, while the traffic acquisition data is at the session level. So you can see this data table on the left here is pertinent to the user acquisition and this middle table is associated with the traffic acquisition. So a user can have multiple session acquisition data points. If we look at the user acquisition report, it gives us this chart that breaks down the different default channel groups so you can see how they're trending over time, what the most popular traffic sources are for users for their first time sessions. And it also gives you this bar chart so you can see visually how that compares on an aggregate level. Now let's remove this comparison date range so that the data table is a bit easier to read. So in this data table, it breaks down the default channel group for first time users. You can change this to another first time user dimension like you could with the acquisition overview data table there. And you have these metrics here to the right. And the table is sorted by new users in descending order. So we see a summary row at the top for the aggregate of each metric. You can click on any of the columns here to sort the table by that column. So if we wanted to sort the table by revenue, we click on this down arrow that appears and the table will update. For traffic acquisition, it's the same layout out of the box. So if you wanted to add a dimension for specific source, you can search for it and select the desired dimension. So then the table will update and you can see the specific sources that are bringing in traffic. You can simply remove the secondary dimension by clicking on this X. If you want a tutorial that covers events, conversions, and all the reports in GA4, check the link on the screen or in the description. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.